Okay, for our next question, we want to describe molar mass. And so in um, the word, we can see the word molar. And so let's first go about describing what a mole is. And so a mole is the um, unit to measure the amount of particles and it is specifically known that one mole contains um, 6.022 by 10 to the power of 23 um, particles and this is also known as Avogadro's number, Avogadro's constant, sorry. Okay, and so now the molar mass is defined as the um, mass of one mole of a substance. And so, of course, if you have 6.022 by 10 to the power of 23 particles, and you have a particle um, has a mass of um, a grams, then we're just going to multiply that a by 6.022 by 10 to the power of 23, and you just get the mass of one mole. And so, um, despite the fact that yes elements do tend to um, have isotopes instead we just use their relative um, abundances on earth in order to calculate a weighted average for um, the molar mass and so a very very good example let's just write down the equation for molar mass is just equal to the summation of the number of types of an atom multiplied by the atomic mass of an atom. Of that atom. Okay, and so take the example of CH3Cl. First off, you just want to note down the atomic masses. And so carbon is going to have an atomic mass of 12.107 um, U, which is 12.107 grams per mole. Hydrogen has an atomic mass of 1.008 U, and that is going to give us 1.008 grams per mole. And lastly, chlorine has an atomic mass of um, 45 45. 453 grams per mole. And so using what we know here about molar mass, we can find that the molar mass of um, CH3Cl is going to be 12.107 times one. So for the carbons, we have one carbon and each is 12.107 grams, plus 1.008 multiplied by three, so three hydrogens and each one is 1.008 grams per mole plus 45.453 times one. So one chlorine and each is 45.453. And that is going to give us a final answer of 50.584 grams per mole for this example. And so that's just how you go about um, calculating the molar mass.